Hey Pisces, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do your love, sex, and romance reading. So it's going to be for the end of August, merging into September. So, um, oh, I'm going to light my incense cone. It's the love spell one from Satya. Oh my God, it smells so fucking amazing. So let me light that for you so I can uh, send you guys lots of love and sexual energies and healing and you know all the fucky fucky that you want in the world <laughs> so there you go this flame is for you guys so you guys can have lots of love romance and sex in your life okay that's for you for you boo from fire witch tarot there you go so mo to be <laughs> all right um okay so let's start Spirit universe what's going on with my pisces and love sex Ooh. So right out we have the five of cups or five of cups no five of pentacles reverse good finally getting out of you know feeling left out in the cold maybe someone left you behind you're getting over it okay let's see here or just not giving a fuck <laughs> literally maybe you found out somebody was serenading them and not you and you're just like whatever i'm over it. i don't give a fuck then we have the King of Swords reversed. Someone wasn't being honest about who they were with, who they were doing, what was going on with them, whatever. They were not being honest. You you knew it. You called bullshit. You like already knew. Your intuition literally told you. If you see in the upright, okay, the king here is like with somebody else. There's somebody, you know, watching them through the window. He could have a mane and have a side piece and always lying. Always lies, 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 lies. Telling sweet little black lies, right? Yeah, you're definitely catching on to it. You know this person was a player, a liar. So you, when he ghosted you or whatever, you could have probably ghosted them. Okay? Blocked them out. Left them feeling left out in the cold. Did that to them before they did it to you. The full reversed. I don't like this, okay? Because the full reverse signifies someone not taking the leap of faith or wanting to start over. Maybe you don't want to give this person a second chance. Maybe they try to, you know, come in and be like, oh, I promise this and that, whatever, telling you lies, like I said, and you're not willing to give them a second chance. That part, yes, that's good. But I don't like the fact that you're not willing, some of you are not willing to, you know, start over or, or take the leap of faith of getting out of a relationship that, you know, is constantly lying to you. Hopefully you're not the one doing the lying. I'm just, I'm just saying. Okay, so. Let's get a different deck here. Pisces. The Knave of Wands. Okay. The Knave of Wands could signify a player. Okay. You could be the player or you're dealing with someone who's a player. Someone who's probably younger than you or it could be someone who's, you know, looked at as someone very attractive. You know, they know they have a hold on you in a passionate way. That could be also somebody else coming in. Could be a fire sign too. Aries Leo Sag. Maybe it's an Aries. And then we have the devil reversed. Eee, okay. Devil reverse is good. Alright. But in this deck, they're always different in, you know, sexual decks. Definitely the devil reversed is, you know, someone who is not in tune with their sexuality, who really doesn't like to get into, you know, those animalistic sexual behaviors or turns it down. Uh, maybe this partner that you were with or someone that you like or whatever wants these qualities, but you're not about that life or they're not about that life. This could also signify getting out of a bad relationship or a bad, you know, person, people, whatever. Because, you know, they're a player. They just bring nothing but bad news. 
a player that's full of lies. Mm -hmm. Four of Cups, definitely spying. So I feel like this person comes in from time to time just to make sure you still got, they still got you or you still got them. Like, uh, are we still good? Are we, uh, you still want this D? You know, like always checking up on you or something. Or this could be you doing that to them, like spying on them, spying on you. Like, it's like they're giving you, they're coming in to get that, you know, emotional checkup. Like, yo, we still good? <laughs> After they're do doing other people and shit, like, just trying to make sure they still got a hold on you or something like that. Ugh. One of those. This could also represent you could be spying on them, keeping an eye on them too, because you know what they're up to. You know that they're lying, playing around, you know, flirting with other people and shit. Queen of Air reversed. See, more lies. Maybe you and this person you're dealing with are lies. But it's more air sign energy. Aquarius Libra Gemini. Someone's not being honest. Not being true to their word. Four of Cups again. That's twice. Four of Air and Four of Cups. Same thing. See that? You could be doing your thing and then someone comes in. Oh, just to check up on you. Oh, what are, what are you up to? What are you doing? You, you still good? We still good? You know, I told you. Like, literally. <laughs> oh, jeez. They just want, they, someone's being taken advantage of, is what I'm seeing here, sexually. You could give them what the other partner doesn't, or vice versa. Oral and all that stuff. And you know it. But I feel like you can't let go, maybe, uh, this devil energy. It's like, they really got a hold on you, or vice versa. It's just, I don't know. It's kind of tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Yeah, oh shit, ten of fire. There's going to be fight. It's going to lead to arguments. Sooner or later, so someone's going to get caught up. It's going to lead to arguments, like heated, heated arguments. It's literally, someone could be, for some of you, you could be forced to have sex with someone you don't want to. If this is a partner or marriage and you're just like disgusted by that, you don't want to be with them or whatever. A fire sign because we have the 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 full reverse, which is the sign of Aries as well. You don't want a second chance or whatever. And they're trying to force themselves on you or whatever. That's no, I don't like that. Maybe you got out of, of an abusive relationship. Someone who was very possessive, who's always spying, you know. And you're constantly having to lie and shit because this person just won't leave you alone or whatever. Maybe that's why you coming into a different, maybe someone else is coming in and it helps you break free from that. Hopefully, hopefully nobody's in an abuse of a relationship because if you are, please do not engage in it anymore. Get away from it. Like no one deserves to be in an abusive relationship. For some of you, you are dealing with someone who likes rough sex. Likes to be really, really rough in bed. That's why we have the devil reverse too. It's like, drop everything you're doing and let's just do it. But it's reversed, so. Don't like it. Alright, let's pull some romance angels. Fight, fighting about who they've been sleeping with, who you've been sleeping with. Someone gets caught because they're spying. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Maybe you're afraid to move on because, you know, this. if you were in an abusive, aggressive relationship, 
you were really, you know, trying to close yourself off a little bit because you were, you didn't want to jump into it. Maybe you, you were, you took the time to heal, you were trying to heal, and now it's, Spirit's telling you it's safe for you to love. This flipped right over. Then we have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture, especially if you have someone on your mind that you, you know, kept your eye on maybe. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Spending quality time. This could also mean spending holiday uh, quality time with yourself, you know? Shit. My gosh. Trust. Wow, this was one of the ones that fell, but I didn't get it, and it came out again. So, this situation is calling for you to have faith. If someone new comes in, and you're afraid to fall back, you know, get into a relationship again, and you're starting to catch feelings or whatever, Spirit is telling you to, you know, trust, express your love, spend some time with, you know, spend some t quality time with them. It's safe for you to love. Free yourself. Some of you need to free yourselves from this aggressive behavior or this person that you're with that's always aggressive. Okay? Trying to maybe take control of you or whatever. Free yourself. Take control of your life. You deserve better. Some of you have already freed yourself. And you're ready to move on. And it's safe for you to love again. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. You see? Be positive. Not everybody is the Ten of Wands. Oops. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay? It, it couldn't have came in at a perfect time, right? Someone will be coming in at a perfect time. Pisces. When you, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Make sure your memories are always good and not bad. Make the best out of it. Make the most out of it. Try not to hold back, especially if you have feelings for a person, you know. Don't hold back. You just never know. You never know. Playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. Someone will be healing you. But you got to break free. Maybe you're an aggressive person yourself. Because of, you know, what this other person put you through or what has happened. You know, it's probably made you bitter or whatever, not wanting to open up. But I feel like, it, you know, feel free to flirt. Open up, you know, have fun. Shit. They're all falling everywhere. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Booyah! Let me repeat that. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. Don't ever try to, you know, hide how you feel or your, your happiness just because the other person is mad because you're smiling on your phone or whatever. Because they're always making you mad or angry or making you feel down. Fuck that. Free yourself from that bullshit. Feel, allow yourself to feel joy no matter what situation you're in. Don't let anybody have that power over you, especially over your joy and your peace of mind. You know, that's too many. Okay. Friendship. 
Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. Wow. It's always important to keep that closeness, to treat each other like you guys are friends, to open up. If you're not able to express how you feel, open up without the fear of how they're going to react or always causing a fight or whatever because you feel a certain way or blah, blah, blah. They're not for you. They really ain't. You should never have to hide how you feel. Or how, you know. It's like when you have a best friend, you can tell them anything. That's how you want to be with, you know, with your lover as well. Romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. We got some romance coming in. There's going to be a lot of sexual tension energies. It's like a wave of sexual energies coming. Coming and going. You know, you're going to feel it. That's why a lot of people are you know, grouchy. They haven't had any in a while. And all they need is just, you know, to let loose. <laughs> and then everything's back to normal again. <laughs> That's it. You got some romance coming in. Trust. Romance. Trust in this romance that's coming in. It could be a current one that you're in. You never know. And you just need to work on it. Open up. Play a little. Spice it up. All right, Pisces. I was going to I was going to say spices. <laughs> All right, my little spices. <laughs> I'm going to start calling you that when regards to love, sex, and romance. You know, you a little spicy. <laughs> oh, I can't stand myself sometimes. All right, guys. Love you. See you in your next video. Give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share.